Hello friends, this is Sunil and welcome back to my channel IT Junction for All. In this video, I am going to discuss Python interview question and answer series part 4. If you are new to my channel, please consider subscribing my channel so that you can get all my future video updates and, and if you really like my video, please do give thumbs up. Now let's come back, come back to the problem statement. Given an array of integers, nums and an integer target, Return indices of two numbers such that they add up to the target. So let's see the input ones. Uh, if you see the first example wherein we have nums equal to 2, 7, 11, 15 and the target is 9. So if you add up the, the, uh, the first number and the second number, the first number indices, indices is 0 and the second number indices is 1. So 2 plus 7 is equal to 9 and the output is 0 and 1 because the indices is, starts from 0. Similarly, if you see the second example, the target is 6, 6. So if you add up the second number and the third number whose indices is first and second respectively, uh, 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 that's what they're in the, in the output table. In the third example, you see that the input is 3 comma 3 and the target is 6 and here the both the number first and second number will add up to the target 6 and that's why the indices is 0 and 1. This is what is expected and for this problem we have two assumptions. First assumption is that each input would have exactly one solution and you may not use the same element twice. Return the answer in any order. So it means that I, it, it can be 0 or 1 or 1, 1 comma 0 or for the second it can be 2 comma 1 or 1 comma 2 anything is fine. So that's all for this uh, question. Let's see how we can do this in Python. I will be solving this problem in Python uh, by using function. So uh, let me start with function. So def let me give function name as two underscore sum and i will open the bracket in this will pass the arguments nums and the second one is the target now what i'm going to do i'm going to create an empty dictionary and will give name as let's say a underscore dict So I have created one empty dictionary. Now I'm going to start with for loop for i in range and the range should go from uh, from 0 to length of this uh, length of this num. So it should be uh, 0 to length of num minus 1. So it will be if we simply give len of nums so it will iterate from 0 to leno of nums minus 1 now what i'm going to do i'm going to find the difference so i'm going to find the difference of target minus nums of i that, that uh, what we are doing we are iterating through the each element so a num of i will be the first element so i am finding that element uh, uh, i am subtracting that element from the target and uh, storing in that variable diff after that i will check if that variable sorry if that difference if that difference is present in that dictionary or not If that is present, then I will be returning what I will be returning. I will be returning i, comma, a of dictionary inside this will give def. Else, I am going to append the value in the uh, this uh, empty dictionary so i am going to assign the key value that is nums of i in that i will store 
what value indices value that is i now let me run this let me see if we have any error uh, let me run this so it's ran successfully with exit code now let me run this let me print and let me pass this value first to sum is the method and then we are passing first the nums value that is the list over here that is and that contains the array of integers and the second argument is our target target value is 9 so let me so the so first two number if we add it will reach it will will get the target 9 so the indices will be 0 and 1 so let's see what result we are getting so we got 1 and 1 comma 0 so 0 comma 1 1 comma 0 is uh, like same that is what we have that in the assumption we, we can get the result in any order similarly if i do print of the second one so uh, it this will see the second and third number will add up to the target six so this indices will be first and the second right so let me run again so you got one two comma one now let me try the third one So here target is 6 and we have only two numbers that is 3 comma 3 so obviously 0 and 1 will be the answer so here you go you got the 1 comma 0 now let me try the third here it is so here the target is 20 so the second and third character uh, number will add up to 20 so the answer will be 1 comma 2 or 2 comma 1 so let me run this again so here you go you got the 2 comma 1 now we are going to do dry run and see how the output has come if you try to dry run this function uh, first what will happen this for loop will run so i value will range from 1 2 3 4 so it will be len of nums minus 1 so 0 to 3 now for the condition i equal to 0 let's see what is going to happen first there will be difference right so let me denote difference by d d will be what target minus num of i so target is how much uh, let me consider for uh, this data so target is 20 so 20 minus uh, num of i so initially i value is 0 so num of 0 will be 2 so it will be 18 right now our uh, what we are doing if diff in a dictionary if diff, if that value uh, is found in, th in that dictionary then we have to return otherwise we have to append so that since the dictionary is empty so this uh, this uh, uh, this difference is not found over there so we will have to append this so our new dictionary will be equal to what it is num of i equal to 1 so num of i what it is uh, this is our key 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 and i is equal to its uh, value so num of i that is 2 and i value is 0 so this is our new dictionary now we'll go to the second iteration where i is equal to 1 here first we'll calculate the difference what is the difference so 20 minus num of i so this time num of i will be 8 so 20 minus 8 is equal to 12 right 
so it will check if that 12 is present in the dictionary so obviously 12 is not present so it again it is going to append so so it will be our new dictionary will be this first there will be existing data two semicolon zero and then we will have new uh, a new data key value will be updated that is uh, uh, number five number five is eight and and what its value i i will be one so this is our new dictionary now we'll see the uh, uh, for i equal to two let's see so what will be the difference the difference will be 20 minus num of i so this time a uh, num of 2 so num of 2 will be 12 so 20 minus 12 will be 8 so difference now if diff in a dictionary now 8 is present in that dictionary right if see this is the final dictionary so 8 is present in this dictionary so what we are going to do now we are going to return i so what is the value of i now i i value is 2 right and then what this what is the second we are uh, uh, a dictionary eight. of difference of the difference will be 8 so it the, uh, what is the value of 8 uh, this is the key and value will be 1 so this 1 will be returned so this is how uh, this function uh, is going to return the value so that's all for this video if you really like my video you can uh, you can uh, you can give a thumbs up and uh, if you want if you know any other way by which you can solve this problem you can write in the comment section and uh, if you really want to support my channel you can go to the thanks section and you can support thank you and thanks for watching